With multiple iPhone 14 models out there and being reviewed, let's continue on with the upcoming features we already know for the iPhone 15. As I've said before, believe it or not, there is loads of information already out there as we even know we've just got the iPhone 14 models in our hands. One of those new iPhone 15 features could mean that four cameras could be added to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I want to share all the details about the iPhone 15 over the next few weeks with everything we know so far and I also want to give you guys the starting details for the iPhone 15 release date and price with specs as well. Now, first of all, there's going to be some of you saying the iPhone 14 has just come out and you're already talking about the iPhone 15 and Apple haven't even started working on this product yet. Well, I can tell you now you are far from the truth. Apple work on many of their products years prior before they're even released. For example, the first iPad was worked on in 2004 with some prototypes that you can see here in these pictures, and it didn't actually come out for another six years later in 2010. In fact, the same first generation iPad Air model, Steve Jobs sadly died in October 2011, but in an interview with Tim Cook in 2013, the same year that the first generation iPad Air came out, Tim mentioned that Steve Jobs was very proud of the iPad Air design even though he had sadly passed away two years prior. I think you're getting it. Apple are constantly working on products that are coming out over the next few years and at the moment they're already working on the iPhone 15. So let's talk about if four cameras are coming to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So as I mentioned in the previous iPhone 15 video, we know there's going to be a whole new design coming to all the iPhone 15 models in 2023, but the iPhone 15 Pro Max might have something a little bit more special. In 2023, it looks like that the zoom capability is going to go even further or finally be coming to the iPhone. Now I have already mentioned this and it does mean I am repeating myself here that we had a report coming from Min Chi Kuo back in July of this year who has said that Apple are looking to bring the periscope zoom capability that is similar to other Android phones out there like say the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra and provide the iPhone 15 Pro Max a 10 times optical zoom capability. We have heard in the past that Apple filed patents that didn't interfere with other patents out there from companies like Samsung back in 2021 and this got approved. The question that remains open is how that zoom will work. Well right now say with this Galaxy S22 Ultra there are four cameras on the rear and two of them are telephoto. One does three times optical zoom and the other does ten times optical zoom. Apple could be adding a fourth lens to the iPhone near the LiDAR sensor a bit like this render that you're seeing here but they could also still be sticking with a free camera lens setup if they get their periscope zoom to work a bit like this render that you're looking at here the periscope zoom would mean that some mini motors would need to adjust the lenses to go from say three times optical zoom all the way up to ten times optical zoom having this adjustable zoom does sound cool but it also may mean problems further down the line if say an iPhone 15 you know got hit onto the ground or a hard floor for example so with this they may play it safe like Samsung and actually offer four cameras on the back with two of them being telephoto lenses but also do remember it does seem likely that this new zoom capability is going to be exclusive to the iPhone 15 Pro Max only at this time now before I continue on, now is a good time more than ever to mention that all reports and leaks that you're seeing here are not 100% proof that they will come true with the new iPhone. I can only present to you what reports of information are out there. However, if you are watching this video, then you as curious I am in knowing what is going to be said about the next generation iPhone anyway. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the release date and prices next. Now it's super early to talk about the release date, however based on the last 12 years of history we have a rough idea of when the iPhone 15 will come out. So if we go back to the iPhone 4S in 2011, this classic iPhone came out on October 14th that year. Then skip a year to 2012 with the iPhone 5, it was September 21st 2012. Then let's skip a few years ahead of that to 2016 where it was the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus and the release year for that was September 16th. In 2019 we saw the release of the iPhone 10s on September 21st and the 10R 
on October 26th. And last year, for example, with the iPhone 12 models, the release dates were October 23rd to November 13th. Now, mainly, you can see release dates have either been kind of mid-end September to kind of end October if there's something special coming out or something a bit different. The main exception was back in 2020, and that was with the iPhone 12, where actually the phone got released a little bit later in October time, but mainly this was due to COVID. But fast forward to 2021 with the iPhone 13 and also the iPhone 13 Pro models, it came out on September 24th, which is back to the normal sort of time we get an iPhone. This year, the iPhone event happened on September 7th, and that the pre-orders started a few days later on Friday, September the 9th, with some iPhone 14 models being available in a hand a week later on September 16th to October 7th. This year, though, the event was a little bit earlier than last few years, but not unheard of, like the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus being released on this date back in 2016. I think you are getting the message, though, for the iPhone 15. It's targeted around mid-September 2023 for the release unless there is a massive problem with components or another pandemic happens for example. So next of all let's do a summary of everything we know so far including the prices for the iPhone 15 to the iPhone 15 Pro Max and also all the details about the specs too. So as I keep repeating myself here, it is very, very early days. So a lot of these specs could change over the next year when the iPhone 15 does come out. So starting out with the normal iPhone 15, it will be about a 6.1 inch OLED display again, with a resolution of 2,532 by 1,170. However, it is most likely that the original normal iPhone 15 will finally get a ProMotion display this time around, which is really good news to hear. Here. We will get 6 gigabytes of RAM inside it and the starting storage will be 128 gigabytes and that will all going all the way up to 1 terabyte of storage. It will be coming with an A16 chipset, well it's the same chipset what's inside the iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max and this time it will have a CPU of 4 efficiency cores, 2 performance cores and a 4 core GPU core setup inside at 2. The body will be an aluminium body, there'll be a dual camera on the back and the battery will be very similar to what we have right now It'll probably be about a 3095 milliamp battery size and that base model of this iPhone will be 128 gigabytes coming in at 899 US dollars we will also be getting the iPhone 15 Max as is the largest standard iPhone again 6.7 inch OLED display with a resolution of 2778 by 1280 again one of the enhancements will be that 120 hertz pro motion display we'll be getting that same 6 gigabytes of RAM storage of 128 gigabytes all the way up to 1 terabytes again that same A16 chipset that I talked about and that will be a CPU of 4 efficiency cores, two performance cores, and then also a four core GPU. The body again will be aluminium, dual camera setup on the back. And I also must mention as well, that it's most likely that we will be getting that hole punch and also that kind of pill design on the front of the normal iPhone 15 and the 15 Max this time around on the iPhone 15 models. The actual battery size will be a 4,352 milliamp battery and the base model will be 128 gigabytes coming in at 999 US dollars. After this, let's move on to the iPhone 15 Pro models. So again, there will be a 6.1 inch model. And again, that will have a resolution of 2,532 by 1,170, an OLED display, a ProMotion 120Hz display as well. This time we'll be getting 8 gigabytes of RAM and the storage options will start at 256 gigabytes all the way up to 2 terabytes this time. There'll be an A17 chipset, the next generation inside it. And again, this will have 4 CPU efficiency cores, 2 performance cores and a 5 core GPU as well. The body will be made out of a titanium design. There'll be a triple camera setup on the back. However, the optical zoom will be a 10 times optical zoom this time and there will also be that lidar sensor the battery will be the same as the normal iphone 15 so probably about a 3095 milliamp battery size and the base model will be the 256 gigabyte model coming in at about 1099 us dollars 
Then finally, we have the biggest iPhone, the most beastie of iPhones of all, and this will be the iPhone 15 Pro Max. It will be a 6.78 inch OLED display with a resolution of 2778 by 1280. Again, it will have that ProMotion 120 hertz display inside it, eight gigabytes of RAM, storage from 256 gigabytes all the way up to two terabytes. Again, that brand new A17 chipset inside it with four efficiency cores, two performance cores and also that five core GPU. It'll be a titanium body like I mentioned before. It'll have that triple camera setup and it will also have that 10 times optical zoom inside it will be a big new feature and it'll also have that LiDAR sensor too. The battery will be a 4,352 milliamp battery and the base model of this with 256 gigabytes of storage will be coming in at around about 1,199 US dollars at this stage. Age. So this list of specs for all four iPhone 15 models is very early of what we know so far and it will continue to grow over time. And if you want to get more of a complete picture in the future and also the latest on leaks and reports, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. But for now guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please make sure you hit the like button. And I will see you guys really soon with some more iPhone 15 information. Take care now. Bye bye.